What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to increase your performance on Marvel Rivals. And this video will include some pretty good performance optimizations that should increase your FPS by 150, maybe 200 FPS for some people. Maybe less for some people too. Of course, I, I, use, I have a 4060, RTX 4060, so it's, it's not the best graphics card, but it's not bad at all. So, I just hope you guys get a pretty significant performance uplift from this, as I did myself. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and go into the Windows tweaks. First of all, we're going to press our Windows button here, and we're going to search for graphics settings and you're gonna enter and you're gonna want to turn optimizations for windowed games on if it's off and you're gonna go to advanced graphics settings and click on default high performance GPU and make sure that it is let windows decide or you could click your best GPU if you have more than one make sure it's not on your processor uh, integrated graphics because that would be bad and then turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. That makes your performance a ton better. And then you can also add your apps, add your games, and you can let's say um, I added the Hunter Call of the Wild. You go here, let Windows decide high performance. You want to click high performance, just like that. And you got to put it on the high performance graphics card so it gets the best performance possible. And next. We're gonna go to back. To, we're gonna close that and go back to our Windows key and search game um, game mode. And you gotta make sure. Honestly, there is mixed. Honestly, a lot of people like to say that it's good. A lot of people say it's bad. I think it's good, but you could turn it on or off. It's up to you. But it it turns things off in the background. As you can see, I think it's good. So, and then you can actually go to display here, and you can go to advanced display, and make sure this is on the highest number it can be, because that is one of the most important things with your monitor. I see people mess up on; they get stuck on 60 hertz refresh rate when their monitor goes to like 240, and that's like the worst thing ever. All right, so from here. We're going to want to press our Windows button again and search Power. So the Ultimate Performance Power Plan, if you have it in like mid to high range PC, I would definitely recommend it because it outperforms every other power plan by quite a bit. So if you don't have that there, you're going to want to close that and type CMD. And make sure you run it as administrator. And then copy what's in the description. It's going to say this and then it'll add it. It adds the ultimate performance. Then you want to close that. Go back to Windows and search Power. And you'll see it there. See it just pops up there. And you can just click it. And then you're good. That's all you have to do. And you have it. Alright, so from here we're going to want to press Windows key and R at the same time. And then we want to type sys then dot cpl. Then we're gonna we're gonna go to advanced, click under performance, click settings, and then click adjust for best performance. But I was I would also recommend turning on these three settings just for like the best optimal view too. It also looks better because I don't want to change all that personally. But you can also just click adjust for best performance if you don't care. But I don't I don't think the other ones do as much. Now we want to remove all of our temporary files, so we're going to go back to the run, and we're going to type percent temp percent. Then we're going to delete all these files, and make sure you can just skip these. If they won't delete, that's normal. And then open it back up and type temp with no percentages, and then click continue, and then delete everything you can with Control A, and clicking delete. And then we can go to our recycle bin and empty the recycle bin so that it actually deletes them. 
lot of people don't tell you that, but you have to do that to actually delete them from your system. Alright, so now we want to right click our desktop, because we're done with the Windows um, optimizations, and click NVIDIA Control Panel. This is only for people with an NVIDIA graphics card. So, if you have an AMD graphics card, you can skip this part. And we want to go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview. And we want to click Use My Preference, Emphasizing, and then drag it all the way to Performance, and then click Apply. And we want to click Yes. Then go to Manage 3D Settings. We want to click on this. Make sure Image Scaling is off, Ambient occlu Occlusion off, Anastropic Filtering. We want to put that on Application Controlled. Anti-aliasing on off. Gamma correction. We turn that off. If it'll work. Um, we're going to want anti-aliasing mode on off. Um, application max frame rate on off. CUDA GPUs on all. CUDA system fallback policy, driver default. DSR factors, we want that on off. Low latency mode, we want that on ultra. Max frame rate off. Multi frame sample, sampled AA, we want that off. OpenGL GDI compatibility, we want that auto. The next one we want on auto select. Power management mode. This is an important one. We need on maximum performance. Um, application control would on prefer refresh rate unless you just want to change it here. You can put it on highest available because you want the highest available refresh rate, of course. And then shader cache size. We want to put that at 100 gigabytes because that makes sure that you don't have to render stuff again. Anastrophic uh, sample, we want that off. Negative LOD bias, you want to clamp. Texture filtering, quality, make sure that's on high performance. Trilinear optimization, you want that on. Threaded optimization, you want that on. Triple buffering, you want that off. Virtual sync, you want that off. And then the rest, you can just leave how they are. And then click Apply. Now we can go to Adjust Video Color Settings. And then... Or sorry, I mean Adjust Desktop Color Settings. We want to put the Digital Vibrance. It default is going to be on 50%. You can see it looks dull. Take it up to 100% to allow the maximum like viewing experience. It looks so much better on 100%. These are all the optimizations for the NVIDIA control panel, but if you want to go here and select your actual game, you're more than welcome to change your settings. But we can close that, and if you have the NVIDIA app, this is also really important to make sure that your um, drivers are the most updated. You want the newest graphics drivers. If you go to your drivers here, make sure that you have the most recent graphics game ready driver. And make sure it's on game ready and not studio, because that would not be good. Um, if we go to Fortnite here, do not touch this, because we did the um, Fortnite performance ourselves. Because if you do it from here, you're going to get less FPS. You just are. Because it doesn't add performance mode on here. It wants you to use DLSS. DLSS is good if you're not on performance mode. But you can't even use it when you're on performance mode. So, And this is what we just did in the NVIDIA control panel. Of course. And that's pretty much all you can really do. Unless you want to go here and turn that off. That probably help. And another really good thing to optimize performance is to use the MSI Afterburner utility. If you do not have it, I'll put a link in the description to download it. And you can just pretty much get the best overclock on your graphics card. 
just look up the best settings for your graphics card because most people put their settings that they tried on the graphics card in MSI Afterburner that work well. On a 4060, I recommend memory clock 1500 and core clock at 230, 250 range, but 250 you crash on some games, so I'll probably do 230. And then turn your power limit all the way up and temp limit will go with it. And I'm not gonna mess with undervolting or anything like that, but this gives you the optimal performance and we will go ahead and see what our performance is like. So let's go ahead and open our Marvel Rivals again and we'll check the performance from here. And something else we can do when we launch our Marvel Rivals, you see this switch shader compilation mode, you wanna turn that on because sometimes, of course, some people, this may not work, but it can greatly higher your 1% lows and make it a lot better. So sometimes, if you're on an AMD graphics card and you have AMD frame generation, it says that you'll notice some more additional stutters with this feature enabled. So just test it out for yourself. And if you get better performance, leave it on. If you don't, turn it back off. So let's go ahead and launch our game. Alright, so we're in the game here and you can see we're getting an average of about 250 to 270 FPS. And honestly, this is a pretty big performance boost. Considering we only did a few things, we're getting over 200 more FPS, 175 more FPS. That's pretty good. We were about at 70 FPS average, now we're at 240, which if you have a 240 hertz monitor, this would be very helpful, as your game would look much nicer. And my 1% lows are about 190 FPS, 150 maybe. I have a 165 hertz refresh rate monitor, so it's not terrible for me. It's quite a bit above what my monitor like refresh rate is. So I'm pretty happy with this performance increase, as you guys should too. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you got a pretty significant performance increase from this. And if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to increase your performance on Marvel Rivals. And this video will include some pretty good performance optimizations that should increase your FPS by 150, maybe 200 FPS for some people. Maybe less for some people too. Of course, I've used, I have a 4060, RTX 4060. So it's it's not the best graphics card, but it's not bad at all. So I just hope you guys get a pretty significant performance uplift from this, as I did myself.